We have always relied on rocks since the beginning of time. They have set up the foundations for our modern life. Even today, we are inspired and amazed by the beauty of their structures. But, due to our neglect, some rocks are in danger of being lost to the world forever. Rocks are conveniently categorized into three main types. Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. We are here in the dense bushland of Central Australia, looking for a rare form of metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rocks are the most industrially abused and sought after rocks of the three types. It just so happens that they also take the longest to form. This is why some species are in danger of becoming extinct. Right here, we have a great example of a metamorphic rock. You can see the layers of what used to be some sort of sandstone. And then over thousands and thousands of years, has been compressed and turned into this magnificent metamorphic rock that we see today. Rocks don't just form overnight, they take thousands of years to form. Alternating weather allows separate layers of organic material to form and then cement. You may think that rocks are always stationary, but in fact they do move, but on a very small scale. As you probably know, the Earth's surface is broken up into plates that float around on the magma. That, to me, is essentially migration. This may seem slow, but it is in fact geologically observable. The rate at which your fingernails grow simulates the rate at which tectonic plates move. Uh, you'd have to be pretty oblivious to not notice your fingernails growing. This invisible movement, if, say, two plates were pressing against each other, would cause a stress buildup. When this stress is released, rocks migrate in a more visual, more destructive manner. misconception is that paper is the rock's biggest predator, but in fact its most prominent predator is us. Rocks are an icon of our society. We rely on them for gravel, cement, asphalt, more general road laying, house building and construction. have taken over millions of years to form and are now being used as a common resource. Is this really okay? Even though a great deal of rock is used in construction, a bigger threat does exist. Mining. <laughs> to extract metals, rock from ores is crushed, destroyed in composition, and dumped back where it came from. Statistics show that mining companies 
use twice as much rock as the average construction companies. Stone is a waste product of mining. It is cheap and useless. Sure, mining might affect the environment a little, but it's essential to the economy. And it's fair to say that nature can take a hit for the sake of mankind. Try to remember what happened with the oil pick. We just don't stop until it's too late. Rocks have always meant a lot to our society, and they always will. But they also mean a lot to our environment. If we are to protect the endangered species of rocks, we need to find an alternative to building our houses and to reduce waste from mining activities. Don't burn away our future.